Hi everyone, it's uh, Fikayo of Fikayo.com and today I'm going to be showing you some of the cool features that uh, Aptanet Studio actually uh, provides for all programmers out there who are actually looking for that cool ID that's just gonna meet a lot of their needs. Actually Aptanet doesn't do everything but um, Aptanet actually has some cool features that you can make you get a lot of things done and in a very very easy way. For example, uh, look at this um, Cut this left section, you actually see uh, the navigation for <coughs> your file system. You can actually load up a project here and be able to view all the files in the project and be able to go to any file just like properties or HTML. Click it just there at the left hand corner, and uh, immediately it comes to the right hand corner for you to work with. You can also uh, check out your folders, view the files in your folders, and view the pages. and. Uh, Bingo, there you go. Another um, very interesting feature about for, for Turner Studio is actually, actually you can actually customize the work environment. If you go to Window Preferences, you see the general customizations, general customizations, Aptana. This is actually the one you're going to be tweaking most of the time. It's like, for example, let me show you like let me show you uh, Teams. Let's go to Teams. And you see here. You can actually um, set your Aptana Studio to act to any of these default teams. You have uh, teams here that simulate different kind of IDs that you already used to see here. Hair clips. You <coughs> can actually here from here select the ID you are very uh, okay with, and you're just going to have it there for you. And I'll just stick with the default Aptana. I think I'm very very okay with that. So another thing, PHP can go and do some PHP um, customizations there you can uh, check out the help content you can um, do some customization as to your debugging and a lot of cool stuff you can actually do over here I'm actually trying I'm actually still learning it myself so I might not really have an idea of what some things <laughs> mean actually so, um, Start a, uh, a new project in Aptana, you just simply click file, go to new, see PHP project, web project, Wheels that should be Ruby, and project, this could actually be any console project, maybe you're writing Java, VB, or um, C++, and you can just, I think I'll just create a file, yeah, a file, you see here we're, we're actually given a dialog box, it uh, prompts us to specify the folder we're going to be saving this into and the name of the file so I'm just going to keep it at the default CSS folder you can see the um, things on that CSS folder here by just toggling this um, arrow then I'll just name this um, Aptana sorry I misspelled that Aptana.html yeah click next then uh, since I specified an HTML extension, it gives me a list of options of um, the uh, kind of HTML document I'm going to write. Is it 4.0 XHTML or HTML5? I'll just go for the um, transitional XHTML and click finish. And you see immediately after uh, had the doc type declaration, gives us the HTML tag, opening and closing tag. You have the air tag, opening and closing, and uh, default meta tag and a title tag so these are many more uh cool features you can actually inform us so i encourage you to go out there grab aptana uh studio from aptana.com and uh enjoy its features thank you